is at 6, I'm Jamie Azule. Amid the statewide bus driver shortage, Eyewitness News reporter Lauren Brill spoke with one local bus company to see how transportation services in Utica are so far this school year. Last year, Durham School Services experienced a driver shortage as they began their transition out of the pandemic. And this year, General Manager Brian McCann tells me that they are not experiencing the same level of staffing issues. I'll tell you, it's, it's night and day different. McCann tells me that the team is almost 100% staffed. We should be at about, you know, 90, 92 folks. That's drivers, that's not counting monitors. Um, so probably about 130 or so. Um, we're, we're, we're within a couple, two to three of that number. It fluctuates due to, again, people fall out due to medical uh, disqualifications and things like that. And as a result, they are working on creating what he calls a bench by recruiting 10 to 15 extra workers that will be ready to step in when drivers call out sick so the company does not find themselves in the same place that they were last year. There are days that you have some, you know, shortages due to people calling in sick and things of that nature. That's why we're working now to build our bench. We want to be at about 110, 120% staffing. Durham does not have to consolidate as many bus routes this year, but when needed, the company makes sure to communicate with the schools and parents to make the process run smoother. When it comes to the response from parents, McCann says there are days when they receive complaints, but not at the same level as last year. There are days that we have complaints that, um, just for example, there's a, there's a heavy population in Utica that they, they move quite frequently, so we get a lot of return um, uh, slips returned to us, so we don't physically know where some of the children live, so we're constantly working on the routing and, and figuring that out as well, working closely with the district. Um, so I'm not going to say that there aren't complaints. There are days that there are some, but the volume is, is drastically less than, than what it was last year. Reporting in Utica, Lauren Brill, Eyewitness News. To add to the growing list of emergencies,